close by. What is going on everyone? Welcome to this Sea of Thieves A Sunken Pearl Guide. This is the continuation to my Sea of Thieves A Pirate Life Tool Tale Guide series. And in this video, we're gonna go through everything you need to know to 100% Sea of Thieves A Sunken Pearl. If this video goes to help you in any way whatsoever, please leave a like to show your support and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see all of the Tool Tale Guides as soon as they become available. If you have any questions at all or you're stuck on something, please go down to the comment section below and post it there. I'll try my best to reply to you and I'm sure my community will help you out too. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and hopefully you guys enjoy this guide and it helps you guys out. First of all, you need to start this tool tail at any outpost you spawn at. Activating the second tool tail will propel you into the storyline. All you need to do now is wait for the mysterious castaway to talk. Once she has spoken, you'll notice towards the southeast of the map, you'll see a new blue light that is similar to a reaper's chest appearing from the water. That is the beacon you will need to go to. Alternatively, you can read the map given to you in your quest radial section. Once arriving at the beacon, you'll need to take your trips underwater. A few things you need to note while going into the depths, there are natural places of air you can get underwater. They are found above the shipwrecks that you will find going into the depths and down in the bottom of the mermaid's lair. Air bubbles are signified by little holes in the earth with bubbles sprouting out of them. Sitting inside of that will refresh oxygen and give you unlimited breathing within the radius. Once you have made it to the mermaid's lair, what you will need to do is go inside the sunken ship you find in the middle of the lair. Now your objective here will be pretty simple. Find a way into the middle of the boat, clear the debris, and grab the key out of the ocean crawler's hand. With the key in your hand, head back to the top of the sunken boat and make your way inside the locked door. That will give you access to Captain Jack's lost compass. Follow the compass into the little lair. Then once you have made it there, you'll be able to open the door by shooting the weird glowy walnut looking thing to the top right hand side. From now on, you'll need to push through this tall tail and take on the waves of mermaids that are going to spawn. It's worth noting that there is the first journal for this tall tail just behind the wooden log that you see in the video. You will now need to part take in the first mermaid fight of this tool tail. It's not too hard, but the important thing to note is once you clear all the mermaids, there will be a mermaid heart that will drop. You'll need to put that inside the mermaid that doesn't have the heart, and you will initiate the first puzzle of this tool tail. Now, these puzzles can be very daunting, but I'm going to explain them right now so you never have to learn them again. This method can be used for all of the future mermaid puzzles I'm going to give you. They may not always be the same as you're going to see on this video, but I promise you, with this guide here, I'll tell you exactly how to do it, and you guys can work it out with relative ease. So, there are always three different types of mermaids, and they will always have three different locations where their arms can be. You have the chain-linked mermaid, the hearted mermaid, and the coral mermaid. The chained mermaid is notified with chains over its shoulder and on the pictures. The hearted is notified with a diamond shape around the hand, and the actual mermaid has a yellow heart in the hand. And the coral is notified by squiggly things coming out of its hand, which also has a purple coral on its hand that correlates to it. There are only three different positions where these arms can be. It is either top, middle, or bottom. And if you look at all these paintings, they're either going to depict the hands in the top, the middle, or the bottom. So the way you work this out is really simple. Let's assume you see the chain link mermaid has the hand in the middle position. You will need to move the physical chain link mermaid to have its hand in the middle position to follow it. This can be done by shooting or hitting the center of the mermaids to move their arms. Once you have all of the mermaids in the correct position, what you'll need to do is shoot the big mermaid that has a speaking trumpet type thing in its hand, and that will sound a siren song. So more specifically, what you need to do for this mermaid puzzle is raise the water by sounding the siren songs. Once you get to the second part of this mermaid puzzle, what you will need to do is go back down the bottom and alter those mermaids again to the middle pictures you see, and then the geyser will activate flying you up to the top. When you are at the top, move the top mermaids to the position you see, and again, shoot the middle siren with the speaking trumpet. That'll activate the next area of this tall tale and push you through the story. Once the water is fully risen, you'll notice there will be a second journal you can grab if you follow this video. That'll be two out of five for the guide. Once you have made it to the top, you notice the water will rise and there will be an exit of this area. This is a very pivotal part of the story, so I'm going to stop it here and pick it up at the direct next part. Once you've made it through the door and gone through the dialogue, you're going to notice that there is a kraken outside in the depth water, and you will also have the ability to leave the room 
room you are standing in. As soon as you leave the room you are standing in, you will need to take on some waves of sirens until you get a siren heart. The few tips I have for this part is to let you know that you do have a few ammo chests and some crates you can deal with. It's worth going down to the bottom by the boat at this point to use the oxygen and ammo crates there. Nevertheless, once you have completed the waves of sirens, you'll get the mermaid heart that you're going to need to use to put again in the mermaid statue by the big opening doors at the front of the sunken boat. Use the same method I told you in part one and you'll be able to open up those doors easily. Pushing forward, you will find the third journal in this room. You'll need to get it to 100% this tall tale. Moving forward, head to the top left-hand side of this room break the top walnut thing to go into this next room and you'll instigate another fight. But first what you need to do is drain the water. This can be done by doing yet another mermaid puzzle in the room. Once the water is drained, you can get the fourth journal of this tall tale, which is in the room just below you. Swim down into the filled room with water and you'll see it on the shipwreck right there. After completing the mermaid fight here, you'll be able to use the winch to get that door open and to push through this tall tale. This part is debatably the hardest part of the entire tool tale, but I'm going to explain it real simply here. Using the pulley in the middle of the room, lower the half of the ship down so you can use it as a leverage to get onto the second floor. Once you are onto the second floor, go into the sunken ship that you see there. You'll be able to get the last tool tale journal that's needed to 100% it. Once you have done that, jump off the right side of the boat, then go into the side room, doing yet another mermaid puzzle in there. Once you have set the mermaids to the right locations, what you'll need to do is move over to the left side of the boat, look up into the top floor, and you'll see the siren mermaid that you need to shoot to open up the water and raise the level inside this room. Once the water level has risen, do not leave the room yet as you need to grab a key that is on the opposite suspended cave. Follow the path shown in this video to grab that key and take it across to the other side and go through the room you just opened. Take the key you have gotten and open that room. Once you have opened the room, bring the key onto the galleon and you'll commence the big kraken fight. Now it's really easy, all you need to do is have someone raising the anchor while another person takes on the spawning waves of ocean crawlers and other enemies. You can do this solo, you'll just need to alternate between raising and lowering. You'll notice that the capstan is going to re-lower and re-lower and re-lower. All you need to do is keep raising and repeating this process over and over again until you get to the top. Once you get to the top, you will commence a kraken fight. It is at this point you will face the hardest challenge of the tool tale in my opinion. Take your time and take down the Kraken. Once you have defeated the Kraken, it's going to withdraw and you'll need to grab the key that you placed on your galleon. Once you grab the key, go to the back of the Silver Blade ship, open the door and grab the Chest of Eternal Sorrows. It's worth noting you can totally sell this as well if you want to to the Gold Hoarder, but you do need it temporarily for the tool tail 100% completion. Take the new chest to the top of the Silver Blade ship, go to the rooms and once you make it to the big room, with the crying faces. Place the sorrows chest on the only opening without a crying face. Once you have placed it down in front of the door, you're going to notice that the door will open and you'll need to read all of the scratches on the wall to 100% this tall tale commendation. From this point on, you can either choose to leave the chest there or take it with you. Go into the next room and you'll commence the final fight of the tall tale against the Siren Queen. This Siren Queen fight is fairly simple. It doesn't take a whole lot of work, but it is time consuming and very unique as they do have a brand new moveset. After defeating the Siren Queen, you're going to notice that the water will lower and you'll be able to push on. Take note, once you go into the hole in the middle, you cannot come back, so make sure you have the chest on you before you enter those waters. Go down, open the next door, and destroy the mermaid statues to finish off the tall tale and meet Gibbs and Co. Thank you so much for watching this guide, guys. If it has helped in any way, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I do make tons of videos like this across all of Sea of Thieves. It is your number one place, in my opinion, for tutorials on YouTube, and I promise you, you won't regret it. If you do have any questions or something has confused you, please post them down in the comment section below. And if you are interested, I stream every day over on Twitch, so if you want to see more content like this, feel free to check me out there at twitch.tv forward slash the cynical. Good luck, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed, and I'm going to catch you all in my next Tool Tale video or other video real soon. See you guys next time and thank you for watching.